Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? I've got a huge cup of coffee, and the reason is we have a massive wildfire exploded, explosion, really, at the Mosaic Company in Riverview, Florida. It's, this is the largest, this is why it's important, the largest uh, producer of fertilizer and nutrients for the agricultural industry in America. And this thing exploded, caught on fire, set the world on fire behind me there. And uh, outrageous. Let me tell you all about that in just a second. But first, let me put a, a quick shout out for www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. Use the promo code Paul. That's www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. Use the promo code Paul. Paul, guys, this is very uh, amazing, but Mike Lindell loves the Lord and is a, and, and really, really cares about the people. Uh, and he's come up with a tremendous deal for you, you, the uh, followers of the Paul Bigley Prophecy uh, Ministry. He has cut the prices drastically off the charts, never before, lowest ever, and a large percentage of the sales goes to this ministry. So this is huge. And anyway, it's time. It's time. That's spring clean. It's time to get new pillows. It's time to get some new sheets, get some new towels for the bathroom. It's time to get some, you know, and also they got slippers. They got blankets. They got, I mean, are you, and he's knocked everything down. A lot of it's only $25 for it. I mean, are you serious? So go there right now, www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. Use the promo code Paul. I'm telling you, is that in his way? Oh, no, that was my book. He likes that too. Go there now. Do it. Okay. At www.mypill.com forward slash Paul. Use that promo code Paul. You'll be glad you did. Okay. You really will. What a what a deal he gave us. He, he really did. Let me put that back up there. Are you serious? Okay. It's number one. Matter of fact, it's number one on Amazon right now. I think, uh, I think it slipped to number two, actually, in the last hour. It's number two. Anyway, it went number one this morning. Revelation 9-11, they're shipping. People may be getting, a lot of you may be getting yours today. So that's exciting. Just go to Amazon.com, look up Revelation 9-11, and order five of them so you can give four away. Let's get people, look, this is a black swan. Is it a black swan? Here's my question. This thing exploded last night, and about three hours later, the bridge collapsed in Baltimore. Now listen to this. This is the largest producer. The Mosaic Phosphate Company is the world's leading producer of phosphate and potash. In other words, the nutrients and the ingredients needed for fertilizer. Uh, th these are two of the three most important nutrients in agriculture in Florida um, uh, and the, across the country. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's the largest producer of phosphate and potash, which, which is two of the three ingredients needed, guys, needed to, uh, are you serious? It's needed to make fertilizer. It's for, for agriculture across the country. So think about this. Last night, this explodes in Riverview, Florida. Riverview, Florida. Explosion, okay? Explosion. And then, add this on, um, then a few hours later, the bridge collapses in Baltimore, the most critical port in the entire East Coast for shipping and receiving of containers. Plus, it's going to cause chaos in the Baltimore, Washington, D.C. area because of the traffic, the insanity of it. I mean, really, it will be insane to fly in and out, to even get to the airport. And these trucks that are in, there's huge amounts of warehouse. How are they going to ship stuff? How are they going to do it when they can't, you know, when they can't get, uh, they can't put them on boats? It, it, you know, there's no need to even try to put it on a boat. Here it is. There's the bridge. So you have this wildfire right here last night, exploding the largest fertilizer plant in all of America. And it's critical to making the fertilizer to two out of three uh, ingredients needed, phosphate and potash. It's needed for fertilizer. The, the plant, it's called the Mosaic Phosphate 
uh, excuse, it's called the Mosaic Company, the Mosaic Company, which and this is what it makes. So you have that down. That's going to affect. They got to plan. You know how much planning has got to take place in in late April, May. Okay, I mean you got to have the fertilizer. You have to have the the nutrients, or the crops aren't going to grow like they're supposed to. While that explosion happened last night here in Riverview, here in Florida, this happened at 1:30 in the morning. Uh, a runaway uh, container ship holding 10 thousand containers full full of um product and and this thing leaves the port and the and the pilots are in control and within 10 minutes they lose control they can't they can't control the speed they can't control the navigation yet this ship makes its perfect turn like it's supposed to and starts headed toward the 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 bridge they have no control of it and then it, and you see it literally if you watch the video you'll see it turning right into the uh, into the uh the pylon the biggest one the one that's holding unbelievable the the, the, the brings the, the are brings the bridge down are you serious this happens the same time that this explosion is taking place in riverview are you serious? Are we talking black swan? Do you know what these two things, just these two events right here, can do to our economy? Absolutely insane. Just these two. And it happens a day after we have this. A blood moon. That picture of the blood moon is the blood moon over, over top of a mosque there in Turkey. That was the blood moon. It was also the same night of Purim. It's the same night the United States back to w wash their hands of Israel, allowing a UN resolution to come that's going to condemn Israel and, and condemn Israel by the world and say that Israel has to cease fire, commanded to. If they don't, they're going to face sanctions from the world. We walked away and left Israel now. We, we turned our backs on Israel. So what happens? That, then we do that during the blood moon. The next day, the, less than 24 hours, uh, this wildfire explosion in the largest fertilizer plant in America just before our spring planting. And then a few hours later, oh, we have this crash into the bridge is something going on here is this a black swan situation uh, is this sabotage or is there something biblical going on or is it a combination of both well we predicted it and uh, during this between this blood moon and this solar eclipse we predicted and you can find out about what we talked about it here in the book revelation 9 11 I'll be on television tonight on Newsmax between 4 and 5 o'clock. I think I come on uh, in the last 15 or 20 minutes of the show. Check it out. If you have Newsmax, watch it. I'm on tonight talking about these things. Black Swan event. Is this all tied to the solar eclipse? Is this America's uh, Nineveh moment? You can read about it in, in the book, Revelation 9-11. It started shipping today. It started. This is the release day. Uh, where were the tugboats? What was going on? They had no control. The pilots said they had no control. They were screaming for over an hour. We have no control of this container. It's huge. Two and a half football fields, 10,000 containers. We have no control of the propulsion. We have no control of the navigation. And we're drifting toward the bridge. And then it straightened up. Then it turned and ran right into the pylon and took the bridge down. Unfortunately, we need to pray for the seven people or more that are underwater inside vehicles. This is not good. We, we really need to pray for them. I'm telling you guys, this is incredible what's happening. Sabotage or is this, or is this something else going on or both? Uh, you know, somebody must have hacked that. I, I'm telling you, somebody hacked that ship. The, the, that somebody got a control of it, and that's not the first time. Uh, uh, it's happened three times to our naval ships and crashed into cargo ships in the ocean. That's when Trump was president, and he was pulling his hair out and screaming because somebody was hacking the Navy ships. I'm wondering if somebody just hacked this one. This ship was from Singapore. This ship was headed to Asia. You just got now the bridge. Okay, and oh by the way, you know what the name of the bridge is? Francis Scott Key. Francis Scott 
key. He wrote the Star Spangled Banner. What? He wrote the Star Spangled Banner. That's the name of the that's the name of the the, the bridge. That's the name of the bridge. Is is old glory are, are we is something biblical going on? Is there something beyond biblical? Are we talking about America? Are we talking about America here? I'll be on Newsmax tonight on the uh, Chris uh, Salcido show tonight. Show starts at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'll come on later in the show talking about the biblical significance of the solar eclipse across America and also our brand new book, Revelation 9-11. Are you saved, guys? Are you serious? We're running out of time.